Welcome to Cocoon. My name's Jess. How can I help you today? Oh yes, I see you in the appointment book right here. You have a fantastic spa day planned. That's wonderful. Well, let's start your transformation right now. Can I take your coat? Yeah, it's chilly out there. It's nice and warm in here. We actually have a fire going in the relaxation room. So you can sit and relax, have some snacks, it'd be nice and warm. We'd like to start off with a foot massage, if that's okay. It's a nice way to transition into the spa. Nice foot cleansing and relaxation. Would you like to have a seat on the couch right here? Let me take your shoes. I can untie those for you. Is it okay if I remove your socks? Okay. And I have a bowl all ready with nice warm water. Mm -hmm. Just place your feet right in. And I'm just going to use a wet towel to wipe your feet clean and remove all the stress and tension along with any dirt from the outside world. Like the name says, you're in a cocoon while you're here. We will take care of you until your transformation is complete. Okay. Let me just pour some water over your feet. Is that nice and warm? Okay. And I'll use a little bit of soap. your left foot and I'll dry it on the towel and we have a lovely lotion it's a cranberry lotion and it's from England and it's fragranced with a velvety light and easy absorbed cream it's enriched with olive and sweet almond oil to leave the skin feeling soft and smooth. And it's got a beautiful cranberry scent. So let me pump out a little of that. Okay. And when we're done, I'll put slippers on your feet so you won't slip with a little bit of lotion on your feet. But again, we purposely use this lotion as it will absorb into your feet and won't feel too greasy. Now let me just spread it all the way over your feet and up your calves. Mm -hmm. Just massaging your calves with my hands, kneading the back of your calves that gets so tight from walking all day. 
down the back of your calves to your feet and let me know what kind of pressure you like on your feet most people like a lot but if it's too much don't let me hurt you in any way and I'll use my thumbs between the bones on the top of your feet to release those muscles as well and around your ankles moving your feet around in a circular motion allowing the ankle joint to relax and then taking each toe and circling it around just loosely in the joint allowing the joint to relax mm -hmm. and rubbing my thumb up and down on each toe. There are lots of little muscles in there. Think of how flexible your feet are. So there have to be a lot of little muscles that can move your feet all around. And those toes get tight, scrunched into shoes all day. And now, using my knuckles on the sole of your foot, mm -hmm. using a lot of pressure, does that feel okay? Okay, let me know if it's too much or too little. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure this massage is just for you, just the way you like it. I'm using my thumbs in small circles all over the sole of your foot, hitting all the little reflexology points on your foot to relax your whole body with this one simple foot massage. Mm -hmm. Reflexology is wonderful because it can massage organs and other parts of your body that we can't actually massage in a full body massage so it stimulates those organs and really allows you to relax nicely let me get a little bit more lotion mm -hmm. and I'm just going to spread that all up and down your feet grasping the bottom of your foot and spreading the bottom of my hands across from the middle of your sole to the outside of your foot and gently pinching with my fingers down either side of your foot and really massaging the lotion into the heel. That part of our feet can get very hard and calloused and this is a wonderful lotion to let your feet heal and soften. Mm -hmm. Your feet should feel wonderful with this lotion once we're done. Mm -hmm. Are you already starting to relax? Remember, this day is just for you to rejuvenate and allow yourself to be good not only to yourself but this kind of relaxation allows you to be good to everyone else in your life, too. Taking care of yourself isn't just an indulgence. It's a necessity. And we're better mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, friends, co-workers, bosses, anything. We're better to others when we're good to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Let me have you place your foot into this slipper. Okay. And let me take your other foot and I will dry it gently with this towel. Okay. And take some more lotion. And rub that all over your foot. 
and up your calf. Okay, nice and relaxed. That's good. Kneading the back of your calf. All those tight muscles that we use every day as we walk around. Yeah, it's wonderful to have a nice foot massage. It's a wonderful metaphor for cleansing and rejuvenating the stress of the outside world because we carry a lot of that stress in our feet as we support ourselves all day. So coming in to a spa and starting right off by washing all of that dirt and tension off of our feet allows us to truly enjoy the spa experience. Let me put a little bit more lotion on. And again, using my thumbs in long strokes between the bones and the top of your feet. and rotating your toes around and your ankles allowing those joints to thoroughly relax mm -hmm. does it feel good? wonderful now let me use your my knuckles underneath your foot on the sole. Is the pressure okay? Oh good. And then my thumbs in small hard circles all over the bottom of your foot allowing your full body to relax with the stimulation of the reflexology points on the bottom of your feet. Just let your mind go blank. There's nothing you have to do. There's nowhere you have to be. You have this time set aside just to relax. And using my hands to grasp either side of your foot and spread the heel of my hand from the center of your foot out to the edge of your foot using firm pressure and then pinching down the sides of your foot not pulling up enough skin for it to hurt and then really working the lotion into the heel of your foot allowing your foot to relax allowing your body to sink into the couch allowing your mind to clear and prepare yourself for this day of relaxation you deserve it and it will make you a better person mentally and physically all right and let me take that foot and also place that into the slipper and we'll move the bowl of water out of the way and if you'll come with me I will give you a tour of the rest of the spa and show you the relaxation room you have about a half hour before your first treatment starts so you can take your time and enjoy all the amenities 
Okay. Just come with me. And this is the locker room. Mm -hmm. So here's your key. And you can use that to open your locker and place anything in the locker that you don't want to carry around. There's a robe in the locker, so you're welcome to wear that. Each of the um, steam and sauna rooms are separated by gender. So some people wear a bathing suit, some people wear their robe, some people wear nothing. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And over here, this is the steam room. It's a nice place to meditate and just relax. Over to your right are the restrooms and there are showers. We do recommend that everyone shower prior to using the amenities just so it's kept clean and hygienic for everyone in the spa. And then if we keep walking down the hall is the hot tub to your left. There's a sauna to your right. And there's a cold plunge pool in the center for those that are brave enough. The prescription that I would give for the half hour while you're here before your treatment is to take a brief shower and clean up and then go into the steam room for five to ten minutes depending on how comfortable you are in the heat of the steam as soon as you feel uncomfortable, leave. We don't want you to push it uh, and start to feel lightheaded. There is water uh, located next to the steam room, also next to the sauna. I do recommend you take a cup of water in with you to both. Make sure to keep yourself hydrated. I like to meditate in the steam room just briefly until I feel uncomfortable. It's a nice place with the steam clouding the other guests. You really feel absolutely alone and the sound of the steam is soothing. It's a nice place to think about your transformation and what you would like to get out of your spa experience how you would like to feel when you leave, how you would like to be when you leave. Some important decisions have been made here in the spa. After that, I recommend that you leave the steam room and go straight into the plunge pool. I know, it sounds scary. For first timers, what you can often do is go in only to your knees or your hips for the first time until you get used to it. Uh, after a while, plunging yourself all the way in uh, will feel exhilarating rather than, than terrifying, but it is a nice way uh, to stimulate the body. It is a very healthy way to stimulate the skin and the organs and go from the heat to the cold. Then, if it were me, I would very quickly go into the hot tub and relax in the hot tub for another five to ten minutes just allowing all the muscles to relax and prepare for your treatment 
Again, take this time to close your eyes and just enjoy the relaxation of the spa and this fantastic time you have to just relax. Then, again, quickly into the plunge pool. If you can stay a little longer or go in a little bit deeper, please do. And then immediately into the sauna. That'll allow you to dry off. And again, to relax and meditate. You can close your eyes and lay down and rest. You may not need to think anymore. Just focus on the sounds of the spa. The quiet, the calm, the relaxation. And then, if you're nice and dry, you can either go straight up to the relaxation room, or go take a shower if you feel more comfortable. Since you're having uh, your treatment, you may want to wait and take a shower after the treatment if you feel comfortable with that but basically it's whatever you feel comfortable with and if you follow me I'll show you the relaxation room it's right up here and like I said we have a fire going it's nice and relaxing. Mm -hmm. We also have snacks. We have fresh fruits. We have granola bars. We have fruit juices. We have coffee. We have tea. Uh, have several other drinks in the refrigerator. If there's something that you would like that we don't have on offer, feel free to ask. Feel free to sit, read a magazine, and relax. You are welcome to extend your spa experience as long as you would like using the amenities available. If you would rather not use the amenities yet and just come sit in the spa in the relaxation room and relax, you're more than welcome to come and read, relax, spend the whole day here if you would like. We can order in lunch for you. We have a local restaurant where we order lunch and have it picked up for any guests interested but this is really your time and feel free to make a day of it and enjoy all the amenities available if you have a seat your therapist will come and greet you here in the relaxation room to take you in for your first treatment Again, you have about a half hour, so feel free to use that time however you would like. Okay, it's been wonderful meeting you. I'll see you soon. Hello. My name is Amy, and I'm going to be your therapist for today. Are you ready to join me back in the massage room? Wonderful. Do you have everything you need? You had a chance to use the restroom? Okay. Come on, follow me. Okay. Well, I have your paperwork with me. 
and I have you booked in for a red rock rejuvenation treatment. Is that correct? Wonderful. That should be a wonderful treatment for you. Do you need some rejuvenation? Mm -hmm. I think we all do. Well, have you had a mud mask before? You have? Okay, good. So, um, you know it doesn't irritate your skin or anything. And I have your paperwork and I see there's not any medical issues that we need to discuss. Uh, would you like to tell me a little bit about the level of pressure that you like in your massage? Okay, that sounds wonderful. Yes, we can definitely do that. And let me tell you a little bit about the treatment that you're receiving. So, this treatment begins with a light exfoliation. We're just going to dry brush the skin a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to move on to a hot basalt stone massage. And with this massage, we're going to use some mood rescue uh, aromatherapy. You're not allergic to any scents or irritated by scents at all. Okay. But it's a complex blend of essential oils that lift the mood and rebalance the soul naturally. It includes bergamot, clary sage, and frankincense. And it's a very spicy uh, awakening essential oil. It's really lovely. I think you'll like it. If you don't like it, we can definitely change it out with any other essential oil um, by itself or a blend if you would prefer. But this naturally rebalances the soul and alleviates stress and negative energy. It's a really nice essential oil. And then we're going to move on to the a warm Sedona uh, and French red clay mud mask. This is the most effective antioxidant and anti-aging formula. It's infused with vitamin E, grape seed, bladder rack, Irish moss, and sage with a Sedona clay and French red clay. These clays are rich in magnesium, vitamins A, B, B12, E, iron, and amino acids. They purge toxins from the skin, leaving it soft, remineralized, and with a noticeable glow. And it has a geranium sage base. So it smells very nice, too. While we have your mud mask sit, I'll give you a rejuvenating light scalp and forehead massage using a Lang Lang oil. Mm -hmm. It should be very relaxing. And when we're all done, I'll give you a light misting with a lavender body mist and you should feel rejuvenated and re-energized when we're all done. Okay? Are you ready? Well, what I'm going to have you do is I will leave the room and you can lay down on the massage table face up And you can leave on the disposable briefs that you were given. And you'll be covered up with the blanket so you shouldn't be cold. And I'll be right back, okay? Alright. Are you ready? I wanted to start off with just a little bit more aromatherapy. So, t 
to light a candle. Um, we have three scents available. We have vanilla, lavender, and lang lang. Do you have a preference? Lavender, good choice. Okay, just let me light that. start off just by dry brushing your skin to gently exfoliate the area we'll be working on. Getting your arms, especially any dry areas like your elbows. Bend your knee for me so I can get underneath your legs. Okay, great. Okay, and let me have you hold your blanket to your chest and sit up so I can get your back. Just hold on to my arm and I'll lift you up. Okay, let me just get your back. your shoulders and your low back. Okay. I'm going to have you lay back down. And now we're going to start the stone massage. So I'm going to just place some warm massage oil the essential oils on your legs and removing the stones from the water. I'm going to use those stones on either side of your legs. They're nice and warm, but they're not too hot. Since I can hold them in my hands, I know they aren't too warm for your skin, but I will continue to move them and turn them so you won't have hot stones sitting on your skin. Mm -hmm. Massaging in circular motions with the stones. Let me get some more warmer stones. Around your knees. And up your calves. On either side of the bone. on your other leg. Let me get some more hot stones. We keep them in the hot water so they'll stay warm. Letting them cool a bit on a towel before I place them on your skin. Massaging your thighs and around your knees. on your calves, going up in long strokes from your ankle to your knees and back down. The stones allow for extra pressure and the heat of the stone penetrate the muscles to allow them to relax. Moving on to your arms. 
getting a few more stones. Again, smaller stones because your arms are smaller surface area and just using those stones on your upper arms and on your forearms. And very gently on your hands, just using little stones to massage the pads of your fingers and the palms of your hands. Moving to your other arm. Getting a few more stones and massaging all along your upper arms, around your elbows, and your forearms. Mm -hmm. Using long strokes on your forearms, allowing the muscles that can get tight and cause carpal tunnel problems, allowing those to relax with the heat of the stone and the gentle pressure on the edge of the stone. Applying a bit more lotion. and massaging the fingers and the palms of your hands. And I'm going to save the scalp massage for when your mud mask is drying. So let me lift the blanket and have you flip over so that your head's on the table, not on the cradle. Okay. Okay. Let me have you flip over. And place your face in the face cradle. down. And I'm going to use the stones on your back. First applying some more warm lotion all up and down your back. Taking some more hot stones. going down either side of your spine and circling up the sides of your back and moving to the left side using both stones down your back and back up to your shoulders using small hard circles with the stones all around your shoulder blades. When using the stones, you need to be very careful on the bone. So making sure that the deep pressures on the muscles around the shoulder blade, not on the shoulder blade of the spine, working that heat and the deep pressure into those tight muscles between your neck and your shoulder joint. And moving to the right side, using the stones down the side of your body and back up all around your shoulder blade. Getting some new stones. These are getting cool. Using 
small hard circles, sometimes using the edge of the stone to get deeper, more focused pressure. Going from your neck out to your shoulders, and then using the stones on either side of your neck and using circles to release the neck muscles, not pressing too hard in this area and not using any pressure on the spine. Then going back down either side of your spine and using the warm stones on your low back. Small heart circles all around your low back. Allowing your body to relax. Placing two hot stones in each palm of the hand. They're warm, they're not too hot, they're not going to burn you. They've been cooling on a towel. Just that extra heat to allow your hand muscles to relax. And placing some more lotion on your legs. Getting some new stones, and using some large stones on the back of your thighs, allowing those large muscles to absorb the heat and relax, and going around your knee, and on the back of your calf. And just briefly down the sole of your feet. And on your other thigh. I'm going to switch out my stones. Allowing the warm stones soothe the muscles and allow them to relax and around the knee and all up and down the calf ending with some sweeps on the sole of your foot the warm stones and covering your feet back up and removing the stones from your hands, allowing you to relax. And just release all the muscles as I slowly rub my hands from your hand up to your shoulder, down the side of your back over the blanket, and down the right hand side of your body. And again on the left hand side from your hand up to your shoulder, down the side of your back, and onto your leg. And I'm going to have you flip over again and sit up as I take the warm Sedona mud mask from the heater and massage it all on your back. Mm, doesn't that feel nice? It's nice and warm relaxing after the massage the extra heat just allows any remaining tension in your body to release and I'm going to cover your back up with a plastic wrap and you can lay back down
And then I'm going to place a thin layer of mud onto your entire leg area, starting with the foot, working up towards your hips. We have you bend your knee. I'm going to get the back of your leg as well as the front. And your other leg. Isn't it surprising how nice the mud smells? It's because of the, the geranium. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to cover your arms with the warm mud. All up and down your arms. And if you'll hold this towel over your chest area, I'm going to also put some mud on your stomach. Mm -hmm. Many people don't like stomach massage, but it can actually be very soothing. You want to use a light pressure in a clockwise motion. Mm -hmm. Just a gentle massage of the stomach. organs in your stomach work hard. I'll just allow that to relax and get the obliques on either side of your stomach. Mm -hmm. And I'll cover you all up with the plastic wrap. And then we'll put a warm Sherpa blanket on top. I'm going to place a cool towel over your eyes and allow you to relax. I'm going to mix just a little bit of massage lotion and some sweet orange essential oil and use that oil to gently massage your temple and your scalp. Small circles with all four fingers all through your scalp. Mm -hmm. Bringing my four fingers together I'm doing larger circles with all four fingers and almost scratching your scalp, but not using my nails, just using the pads of my fingers. Mm -hmm. I think it feels so nice to have my scalp massaged. Mm -hmm. Does that feel good? And again, rubbing your temples and spreading my hands over your forehead and down again to your temples and then down along your jawline, slowly massaging the muscles of your jaw and up to your cheeks. with some small hard circles with all four fingers under your eyes and back up to your temples and across your forehead. Does that feel nice? Okay, and now I'm going to gently remove plastic wrap from your legs and I've got some warm water and towels and we'll just remove the mud mask. Mm 
is taking all the mud off of your legs with some wet towels, rinsing them in the water, and then moving back to your other leg, allowing all of the mud to be removed, taking my time, moving to your stomach, removing all of the mud, mm, does that feel nice? Yeah, we want to get all the mud off before it gets too cold. Let me get your arms. Mm -hmm. And let me have you sit up. Just hold on to me. I use the towels to remove all of the mud from your back. Mm -hmm. Remove all the plastic wrap. Okay, let me check there's anywhere else that might still have some mud remaining. I don't see any. Okay, before I have you lay back down, I'm just going to spritz your back with the body mist. Let me have you lay down. Spritz your arms. Spritz your stomach and your legs. Now let me just cover you back up with the blanket. And I'll just let you relax on the table. Would you like me to bring you some tea or water? Take your time and when you're ready, put your robe back on and I'll be waiting outside the door with some tea. I hope you're feeling totally relaxed. I really enjoyed giving you this treatment today. And I'll be ready outside the room when you are. Hello. We had a couple of different teas available. We had a youth berry tea which is kind of citrusy. We had a sage tea, which is already brewed, which is kind of spicy. And then we have a chamomile tea as well. Would you like to try the youth berry? Good choice. Okay, I'm going to just pour that. It's a really nice blend. Here, enjoy. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm so glad. It is a wonderful treatment. Don't you feel rejuvenated? Body mist really just wakes you up at the end. So your body's relaxed but again invigorated. I think a lot of people feel that they need to feel sleepy in order to be relaxed, but often our body can be relaxed and our mind can be relaxed, but we can still be creative and energetic. I often like a massage uh, when I know I have some big projects coming up it actually helps me to think clearer. 
So it doesn't make you lethargic, and it doesn't make your mind sluggish. It can often help you think clearer. I'll walk you back to the relaxation room. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day here. I know you have another treatment coming up. I'm very jealous. Do enjoy. My name's Amy, if you ever want to request me. And it's been such a wonderful time meeting you and giving you this treatment. Take care. Hello. My name's Sarah, and I'm going to be cutting your hair today. Would you just follow me into the salon? Are you ready? Let me have you have a seat. And let's start off by taking a look at the magazine you brought in, the style that you're looking for. Okay, so you want it a little bit shorter than you have now, correct? And how much time do you like to spend on your hair in the morning? Okay. You really like to wash it and go. Okay. Well, since I know you're spending the day at the salon, what I will do is actually not blow dry your hair. I will let it air dry when we're all done. And then you can see how it looks uh, without a blow dry. Uh, and if you don't like it, uh, w before you leave the salon, you can always come over and I will uh, show you some additional products or I will also show you how to blow dry your hair if you don't like the look. Um, we will make sure that you like your hair before you leave and that you can replicate it when you're at home. Okay? Great. So. If it's all right with you, we're going to start off with a shampoo. Okay, just come on over and have a seat at the shampoo bowl. All right, and we're going to run the water. Okay. How's that temperature? Is that okay? All right. And I'm just going to really massage in the shampoo just vigorously using my fingers on your scalp to make sure that it no, not only gets in your hair but on your scalp a lot of what people think is dandruff is actually dried product on their scalp so we want to make sure that we use our fingernails a little bit um, just to make sure that we're really getting all of the product into your hair. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to use a little bit of conditioner now that we've put the shampoo in. all the shampoo out. What kind of conditioner do you use at home? Okay. Do you condition every day? Okay. Do you shampoo your hair every day? Okay. With hair like yours, it's actually fine not to shampoo every day. Um, as long as you don't feel it is dirty or greasy. You don't have that problem with your kind of hair, do you? No, I didn't think so. Uh, but you may want to condition every day. Mm -hmm. It'll help keep your hair manageable. Okay. And let me just massage that into your scalp. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And making sure to get the tips of your hair with the conditioner. Sometimes what you can do if you're conditioning every day is to just use the conditioner on the hair that is past the nape of your neck. That's the part that tends to get really dry. And then that'll avoid having product build up on your crown and on your scalp. Um, and sometimes the product can weigh down the hair uh, around our face, which is usually where we want more volume. So just putting the conditioner on the end so it's easier to brush your hair, uh, but avoiding um, the scalp area. It's often uh, a nice way to use the conditioner if you're conditioning every day. Mm -hmm. And then again, you want to use the shampoo more around the scalp because that's going to be where the oil glands are that can make your hair feel oily. And you want to, again, make sure to get all of the product off of your scalp so that um, it doesn't appear like dandruff if you scratch your head. Mm. Okay, let me rinse that out. Okay. Vigorously massaging your scalp, getting all of the product out. anything you don't like we will fix so don't worry about that at all all right so let me just look at the length of your hair while it's wet okay that feels nice here you really have beautiful hair it's a lot longer than it looks dry frames your face really nicely and I think this haircut will really look wonderful on you mm -hmm. yeah I'm excited to try this one uh, it's interesting sometimes people bring me in pictures and what they bring me really does not suit their face or won't work with their hair but um, I actually think what you brought me is perfect for your hair and your face so uh, and I think it'll be easy I think you'll be able to wash your hair in the morning, condition, put in a little bit of product, run your fingers through it, and go. And let it air dry, and I think it'll look fantastic. Okay, so are you ready? Not too scary, we're not taking off too much. Okay. Yeah, your hair is really soft. The products you're using are really nice. Do you use a lot of styling products? Mm -hmm. well, I think that may be part of it, is you're not putting a lot of harsh product in your hair. Do you color your hair at all? Mm -hmm. You know, color is not always bad though, and the new colors they have are really nice um, to your hair. They can, they're not like color used to be, um, and actually one of the reasons I color my hair, now I have gray ha some gray hairs, just a couple of course but I do have some gray hair so that's one of the reasons but another reason is because my hair is very fine and flat on the top and the color actually does 
very slight damage to the hair and it actually makes it fuller so um, it doesn't do enough damage to cause it to break or uh, anything like that but it uh, you know it, it just sort of thickens it up a little bit If you were ever interested in color, you know, I'd love to do color on you. And actually what I would do is do an all over color, very similar to your natural color. And then I'd use some highlights um, for the summer in a lighter, uh, not quite blonde, because we don't want it to look too artificial. but. Um, a lighter brown mm -hmm. and then do some low lights underneath in more of a reddish tone because you definitely have some some red coming through mm -hmm. and I think that would look beautiful on you okay let me just kind of fluff up your hair a little bit Oh, that's already looking great. Okay, look right at me. All right, so take a little bit more off the side. Um, and look at the front. All right, and let me put some product in. So first I'm gonna put in a conditioning cream. Mm -hmm. spritz on a little bit of the styling spray so that it won't move okay let me spin you around and see what you think all right what did you think is that what you were looking for Mm-hmm. You want a little bit more off of your bangs in the front. Okay. Yeah. I was a little worried because your hair is curly. I don't want it to curl up too much. Let me take a little bit more off, but then what I would say is um, let it dry, since we're going to let it air dry. And if it curls up too much, um, and sorry if it's still too long after it's dry uh, I'll cut a little bit more but I think you f you may um, notice that when it dries because it's shorter it's actually gonna curl up a lot more than before so let me just take a little bit more off and I'm gonna angle it a little bit more so it'll look a little bit more like the picture okay all right Is that better? And again, this is shower, shampoo, condition. Um, I can show you the products, uh, the conditioning cream and the styling spray. We sell both of those here. I can show you those. Uh, if you have something at home, you can try that and see if it works. If not, I will write you a prescription for these two products, which you can come back and get here uh, at any time. And um, were you interested in having a color consultation so that next time, uh, if you decide to have some color, you'd have an idea of what we could do? Okay, so have you ever done color on your hair before? What color you did an at-home box? Okay, do you remember what color you used? All right, so you went a little bit darker red. Okay. Yeah, I think um, you have a really great skin tone for lots of different hair colors. I think you could go slightly lighter. Um, I don't know that I would go blonde blonde, um, but again, it's up to you. It's whatever you think you would like. Um, 
and I think we could definitely pull in red colors. Um, so let me show you. Um, I'm going to bring out the color book. And we have swatches in here with the different colors. So what I would use, and again, this is not a very harsh color here. Um, and I would use this one as an all-over color. Again, it's very similar to your natural color. And I see that you have a couple of grays peeking through too, not much, uh, but it would cover that up really well. Um, the other thing we could do is if you decided not to go with an all-over color, uh, because you don't have very many uh, gray, we could actually do the highlights to cover up your grays as well. Okay, so this is what I would use as the all-over. And then I would use, see this lighter brownish blonde? I would use that as a highlight. And then you see this darker red over here? Mm -hmm. I would use that as low lights. So with the low lights, we go actually underneath the all-over color, or if we you decide to use your natural color, go underneath that, and it just brings some texture to the hair. So you have the highlights up top um, and peeking through in layers, and then you have the low lights underneath them. It makes the highlights really pop, um, and it makes the, uh, the, the low lights really help to make your hair look kind of fuller. Again, it's like shading if you're drawing or painting, you know, you you put the um, you put the light in the picture so that and then you put the dark and the shade in the back so that it gives it real uh, depth. So that's what I would recommend. I'm going to write all of these down for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, the prices of each we do charge per color. Mm -hmm. And I will walk you back to the relaxation room. Did you want to check out now, or did you want to um, go and relax and use the uh, facilities a bit more? You are more than welcome to stay all day if you would like. I don't blame you. If I had the day, I would be in that steam room most of the day. So I'll walk you back to the relaxation room. And all of the information we discussed will be up at the desk when uh, you're ready to check out. No hurry. They ha will have it linked with your name, so they will have no problem finding it. And you enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy all the facilities. Really have a wonderful time. And it was so nice to meet you. I really enjoyed cutting your hair. Um, let it dry. Go and look at it in the locker room. If for any reason you are not delighted with your hair, come and let me know. And uh, I'll make any changes that you need. And I would be more than happy to uh, help you the next time you need a haircut or color. Okay, it was so great to meet you again. My name is Sarah. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Hi. How are you feeling? You look like a new person. When you walked in here, you looked so stressed, and now you look relaxed and ready to take on the world. Did you enjoy your day? I'm so glad you spent the day. Yeah, it was wonderful. That's what we like. We like people to come and really use the facilities and just have a great time while they're here. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm so glad we were able to really make use of it. So are you all done now? Great. Well, uh, I'd like to offer a complimentary makeup touch-up. 
time you have been here all day, you've been resting and you saw me, so um, I'm sure you have a clean face. And if uh, you're going anywhere other than home, I'd be happy to give you a makeup touch up so that you feel ready to face the world. Does that sound good? Okay, great. Come on over. moisturizer that I can use here and I just I'm going to use this pad to just dab it on your skin and just use the pad gently go over all around your face skin tone and give your skin some of the moisture it probably needs after going on a long day out in the cold so mm -hmm. um, now would you like me to leave on your eyes okay so first of all I'll use um, just a little brown pencil under your eyes so just uh, close your eyes for me and I'm going to pull at the corner of your eye just a little bit slightly darker color on the crease or in the corner just to give your eyes some depth. And I don't think you need any blush but maybe I'll use a little bit of bronzer. cheekbones and a little just underneath your jawline now would you like lipstick or lip gloss or highlight yeah I would recommend a real neutral lip gloss just to give your mouth some hydrating bushy that kind of just has a very slight pink tint okay and just pop on your lips a little bit okay and just blot the lips like that but not least uh, just a little bit of mascara on your eyes so now I'm just going to have you blink your eyes for me okay and the other eye there that's all the way around and again that's just a, a nice little refresher uh, so that you feel like you can go out day. Um, does that look good? Okay, now we have all of those products here as well, if you are interested. Mm -hmm. And we have some of the brushes that we use. We sell pretty much 
everything that we do in salon we try to provide products so that you can bring that spa experience home with you um, we can't all get to the spa uh, once a week or more which would be nice and many of us only make it to the spa once every three months or six months or so uh, so we like to give you products you can take home and hopefully recreate the spa experience a bit at home um, so on that topic Sarah brought me a couple of products that she said she used on her hair. Your hair looks fantastic, by the way. And you've taken a look in the locker room after it dried. Are you are you happy with it? Are you perfectly happy? Because we are more than happy to fix anything on our hair for you. Okay, great. And feel free to call us as well. You know, if you have anything come up as a result of the spa experience or the hair club, uh, if you forgot what kind of products we used and you want to know, feel free to call us. We uh, have you in our computer record with the products that we recommended so that you'd be able to suggest those as well. So the products that Sarah recommended are Goldwell Curl Definition Revive Cream, Intense. It's a leave-in conditioner for normal to thick hair. Um, and this is what she used just at the end of your, um, yeah, if you want to have a smell of it, yeah, it's very nice. And she used that after your haircut, just to kind of set your hair. Again, it's something that you can use all the time. Um, it, it's an instant care formula, and it gives your hair a little bit of shine, and provides hair sort of an instant bounce. So it's also nice to kind of revive your hair in the middle of the day. The other product that she used is part of the Jenna Frida collection and it's called Luxurious Volume and this is the spray that she used and it's a lavish lift root booster. It creates lifts from the roots, thickens strands for all around dimension with a soft feel. So um, I actually use this product at home and I really like it because um, it makes your hair stay a bit, but it doesn't make your hair feel crunchy. I don't like hairsprays or styling products that really make my hair feel uh, crispy and crunchy and like I would want someone to touch it. Um, so this is a great product for keeping your hair in place a bit, but not giving it that crunchy feel. Uh, and it also boosts the volume, uh, which is really nice and gives it a little bit more thickness too. So it does um, it does several different duties at once. So are you interested in either of those products or anything else that we've used here today? We have the essential oil uh, that was used in your massage oil. We have um, the mud that was used in your uh, mud mask. We do sell that separately. We have all the essential oils that were used in your the Alanine for your face massage, your scalp massage, and the um, lavender uh, body mist that was used after your mud mask. So anything you'd like, we always have it here. Um, if you are running by the salon in a hurry, feel free to call us and we'll pull any products off of the shelf that you would need and make sure that we have what you need available and you're welcome to run in and just grab any products. If there's anything that you'd like to do, you feel free to add that onto your receipt. Okay. And let me just give you a receipt for your treatment. Take a look at that. You can add gratuity uh, if you would like onto the receipt. I can also give you cash if you prefer to hand gratuity to your um, therapist or your stylist or someone, whatever you prefer. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. And you will be sent a complimentary uh, gift 
in the mail uh, for your first visit and hopefully you will use that to come back in soon and use the facilities again you can always uh, pay a small fee a $15 fee to come and just use the uh, facilities and you're more than welcome to stay the day like you did today uh, otherwise the facilities are free with any treatment um, and we have specials on treatments regularly we have spa packages like the one you had today uh, and we are always happy to create a spa package for you uh, we do have discounts available if you're uh, purchasing more so we can always make something work for you. We also have packages where we include lunch, like you had today, uh, whatever you need, and whatever will allow you to enjoy the day. Here's a brochure on all the treatments that we offer. And do not hesitate to call us with any questions. And um, with, we are happy to give you any information about the treatments and if I can't answer your question here at the desk we can always have a therapist call you back with more details okay well thank you so much for coming to Cocoon Spa today we're thrilled you were here you really look transformed to me and uh, we hope to see you again soon okay take care